Hi, I'm Nikki, and welcome to my full body strength session today. We're going to work the full body, and it's going to take about 35 minutes in total. We're going to work in sets. We've got seven sets with three exercises per set. We're going to work each set through twice. Okay, I've got two pairs of dumbbells just so that I can alternate on the exercise that we're doing, but you work with what you've got at home. Really important, make sure you've warmed up before you start. If you haven't pressed pause, there is a warm up on my channel. If not, do a warm up of your choice. Okay, let's get straight into it. So, let's set the timer. So, 35 minutes. Our first one is squats. So, I'm going to take the two dumbbells and I'm going to place one on each shoulder. And I'm going to step to the side. So, I'm going to alternate and then you come back. So really important, pause before you go down, just check that those knees follow those toes, okay? Don't go straight into that squat, make sure you've got that alignment. So you're gonna be working 40 seconds per exercise, you've got a 10 second rest in between. You've got a little bit longer in between each set. Well done. Keep that chest up as you do these. Okay, right, lunges with a press. So I've got both dumbbells. I'm going to place my right dumbbell on my right shoulder. I'm going to step back with my right Into that lunge and press. Lunge and press. Well done. I'm keeping my chest up with this one. And as I press, my elbow is going close to my ear. Lovely. Keep it going. The arm, my arm's aching. Whew. Well done. We're going to switch sides. This time, our lift. Our dumbbells on our left shoulder, and we're going to step back to our left leg. Well done. If at any point you become too tired on that overhead, you can just bring that dumbbell to your side and just go with lunges. Excellent. My buzzer isn't definitely new, I've got new settings on my microphone, I've had a bit of issue with sound before, so apologies if it's too loud now. So let's take those dumbbells on our shoulders, so feet close together, we squat to out, and we come down together. Step out, squat down. Keep that tummy pulled in, protect that back. Lovely. Super, 15 seconds. Excellent. Oh, well done. Give those arms a good shoulder. This one's not nice, so we've got, I'm not gonna lie, we've got that reverse lunge with shoulder press. Dumbbell on right shoulder, we step back our right leg, we power it up. Back down, power up. Get nice and controlled. And at any point if it comes too much, just keep those arms here and just go back with the legs. Brilliant. Working the full body with this one really. Upper body. Our core to keep us balanced and that lower body. Oh, well 
program. Okay, let's switch sides. So our left arm, our left dumbbell, so that left shoulder, we step back with that left leg. Bend, and press. Again, keep that chest up, those eyes are looking forwards. Super. Lovely. Last few. Last one. Oh, well done. Well, that's the second rest this time. Give those arms a good stretch. Grab a drink if you need one. Okay, we're going to work. We have got deadlifts to a wide row. So we're going to hinge, we come down, then we're going to do three wide rows, okay? Then we're going to do single, single, double, double, high pull. Then we've got alternating shoulder press. So very arm focused. So deadlift. Put a foot apart. You come down, you row for three, two, one, and stand. So we hinge forwards, our knees are soft, our back is straight. And as you bring those arms up, imagine you're trying to squeeze almost like a walnut between those shoulder blades. Excellent. Lovely. Okay, three. My shoulder roll. So these are going to feel quite tough, especially after those wide rows. So we're going to do those high pulls. Single, single, double, double. So one, two, and two together. Check that you're leading with those elbows and you're not going any higher than your chin. Excellent. Step one, two, two doubles. Again, make sure you're controlling this one. As you bring that dumbbell down, you're not letting it fall down, you're controlling it. Superb. Okay. Right, I'm impressed. I'm debating should I go down or stay with these? I'm working out as much as you are, so I'm going to challenge myself. So we start in this position. We go one and then the other. Brilliant. Okay, you can stay with this. Now for the last bit, we come up together. So we do half as singles, half as doubles. Okay, you can stay with. Singles, check their back is not arching. You pull that tummy in to protect that back. Your feet are about hip width apart to keep you grounded to the floor. Oh, well done. 20 second rest, make the most of it. Give those arms a good stretch. It's quite a challenging set on that upper body. We're gonna go back to those deadlifts, to wide rows. So, feet hip width apart, we hinge down, we row one, two, three, and we stand. Knees soft, hinge towards for three. Back up, well done. We've got it 15 seconds. Okay, let's finish this last one. Oh, well done. Nice shoulder roll. We've got those high pulls. A single, single, double, double. So, knees off, don't lock them. One, two, two doubles. Two. 
Two doubles. Brilliant. Oh, 10 seconds. Try not to grip the belt, dumbbells too, too hard. Enough of you don't drop them. But don't, don't really grip them. Sometimes people do, and then they can feel it in their kind of forearms. Right, single arm presses. So, palms facing your face. We go one, two, so alternate those singles. Okay, one more each side. Then you can either carry on with this sequence or you can take it up to doubles for the last 15 seconds. Nice and controlled. You can protect that back, put that tummy in. Engage that core. Five. Close that down. Okay, 30 second rest. Next one, we're gonna get that heart rate up a little bit, although it's not cardio, they're a little bit faster pace. We have got ski squats. So these are ski squats, they're quite new. You bring them here to your shoulders and press. Then you bring them up, down, you swing. Okay, that's your first exercise. So in that squat position, but have your feet just a little bit narrower. You bring the dumbbells here to your shoulders and press. So swing. As you swing, come forward a little bit. Protect that back, pull that tummy in, keep that back straight. Lovely. to press up. If you don't want to do the press up, just do walk outs. So we come down, we walk here, you either go to your knees, press up, or you do a full press up, walk it back, or you scrap the press up and you just do walk outs, then walk it back. That's it. Fifteen seconds. So this one you're working that upper body, that core, and your heart rate is elevating a little too. Right, quad chops. We're going to work that core as well. I'm going to face this way so that you see it better. When you swivel, then you lower it down. You go back quick. Slow it on the way down. Up quick, slow it on the way down. You'll notice my foot is swiveling as I turn to help guide, okay? So it's up quick, slow it down. Feel it through that tummy as you bring it down. Feel the exercise. Brilliant. Woo, well done. Okay, just place that down. We're going back to the beginning of this set. We've got those ski squats. Then we get to lay down. We've got the chest and triceps. So, ski squats. Remember these ones? These are the ones where we hinge and we swing those dumbbells. So we come back, shoulders and press. If your arms are getting tired, just bring it to here. Or you can do one press, and then the next one just to your shoulders. Remember this is your workout, you work at your level. This of it will be challenging, but try and work through it. I promise you'll feel better for it at the end. 
I wish sometimes I could bottle up that post-workout feeling. It really is a great feeling. Lovely. Close those down. We're going back to those wall camps. So remember, you don't have to add the press up for this one. Off we go. So stop when those wrists are under those shoulders. You either come down to a press up, you can drop to those knees, or you just come straight back up. Last one. Whew. Okay, good jobs to finish this set. To start with those big kind of tip of the part, you take it up quick, you slow it all the way down. So up quick. Slow it down. Swiveling with that back foot to help guide you. You're probably feeling this in your arms by now. Right, down to the floor. Grab a drink if you want to run a drink quick. We're going to do some chest work and tricep. So the first one, we have got chest press. We're going to alternate. You're going to lay down. Now we're going to take those weights up. You want your palms facing forwards. In line with your chest, you're going to bring one arm down. Take it back up. Okay? So... Push that back into the mat of this one, don't let it arch, and check that those weights are above your chest, okay? They're not above your shoulders. Sometimes people take them too far back. Now the back of my arm is just tapping the floor, and then it's coming back up. So it taps, comes back up. Well done. Good. Okay, so our next one is chest rise. So this time we want our palms parallel. We want them facing each other. We want our chest and we come out and we bring it back up. Again, in line with the chest, not the shoulders. Now when you bring them down as far as feels comfortable. I bring one to about here. So almost the back of my arm touches the floor, then I bring it back up. If you feel it pull too much, sort of around by your armpit, don't take it as far down. Particularly if you've got any shoulder injuries, just be mindful with this one. You can always do another set of chest presses, but doubles instead of singles. Right, just rest them down because this next one is challenging. This is a tricep press, so we want our arms parallel, but we're not touching them together. And we're going to go single arm down, now the other arm, now you do your two, and two again, like the combo we did with the high pulls. So, tap down, back the arm to the floor, the other arm. Now together, try and keep them apart, but keep those elbows brushing past the side of your body as you go down. You should really be feeling this in the back of the arms now. I certainly am. Three. Okay. Close those down. Put those arms a good rest because you've got all that again. If there's any constellation, my arms are struggling a little bit with that step. But I'm going to give everything I can. Stay with these weights. So, alternating single chest press. 
palms facing forward this time. We come down one, two. So for this one, you want the back of the arms to tap the floors. Sorry, I'm doing just singles. I'm not doing doubles well there. That's my mistake. We're just doing singles. So as you bring the arms up, almost straighten them, but don't lock the arms. Okay, just rest them quickly. We've got those chest flies. So again, you can do another set of chest press if you've got a shoulder injury, this triggers it. So palms facing each other. We come out, so it's almost like you're hugging a ball. You've got those arms, are, the elbows are soft, slightly rounded, but they're coming down and you're hugging that ball. Sometimes people have a mistake of bringing them out into like right angles. We don't want that, we want them rounded more. Lovely, check that back again. Ooh, okay. Right, the challenging one. Those single, single, double, double tricep presses. This round is going to feel tough. So, arms facing each other. We do single. It brushes the side of our body. Now we do double. And we do double again. Single. Single, double, double. Okay, stay with that combo. Fifteen seconds. Keep it going. I know it's painful. Okay. Twenty seven 
that's again, that's the beginning of that one. So you've got those hammers. So again, you can just do hammers, or you can do two hammers to one press, okay? So, palms facing our thighs. So we go hammer and press, or two hammers to one press, or just hammers. Keep going. You've got 10 more seconds. Again, control it. As you take those arms up, try and keep them close to your ears. Right. Alternating bicep curls, the nice ones. So remember to twist the arm up, so it comes up and down. You've got core after this, and then you've finished. Lovely. 15 seconds. Five. Right, other arm for triceps. So I did my right arm last time, so I'm going to do my left. So my left leg is going to go back, so I'm slightly pinched forward, and I squeeze. Again, if you want to for this one, you can hold on to something to help that back. And I'm squeezing at the top for a split second before I release it back down. Wonderful. Ten more seconds. Oh, well done. Okay, let's go down to the floor. So I'm taking my lighter weights for this one. The first one is you've got two options. You can do Russian twist. Some people like to do the Russian twist where you hold it here, you just go side to side. Or you can lift those feet. This one is almost like tend your kayaking. It's a little bit friendlier. You row it. So you row it down and you come back up. You can row it. If you feel your back is hurting, sit more forwards. If not, lean slightly back and you row. So just imagine you're on a almost like a kayak and you're just rowing. So you follow that bell as you go. So it's another way to figure a way with those arms. This one will change on the second set, so you're just doing this one once. Ten seconds. Sit arm and leg. You can add weights by doing the same opposite arm and leg, but you just take the dumbbell back. So down for two, up for two. It's not quick, it's controlled. Okay, I'm going to do sit up press. You have the option for this one to do glute bridges if you don't want to do sit up press. So, taking one down there, I'm coming up and press. I'm rolling it back down, nice and controlled. 
and they're almost powering it up quicker. Well done. Okay, 27 reps. So last round of this, and we've got just a quick kind of finisher core. So you can do the rows again if you like doing those ones. If not, you're going to do bicycles, which I'm going to do when you do opposite elbow to knee. Working those obliques. So knee back head up, and then opposite elbow to knee. Concentrate on pulling on that neck. Brilliant. Ten seconds. Okay, dead bugs. So again, with or without the weights, I'm going to use weights. Push that back in. Push the back into the mat before you start on the floor. You can also do this with one dumbbell if the two is too challenging. Just hold the dumbbell and take both arms back at the same time.
going, keep going. You've got 20 seconds left and you are done. 15. Woo. Last 10. Stay with me. Okay, three, two, one, lower it down. Oh, sit back onto that bottom. Give it a nice stretch. Well done, fantastic work. I hope you enjoyed that. We worked everything. Definitely got my heart rate up as well. I feel like I've worked hard. Please make sure you cool down now. Either the cool down on my channel, or if you know what you're doing, do your own stretches. Take care, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.